I've got a book about the vampire of all vampires, Mr. Dracula himself. And it's also autographed by the original creator and author, Mr. Bram Stoker. It's worth money. Lots of money, I hope. <laughs> I decided to come to the pawn shop today to sell my autographed copy of Bram Stoker Dracula. The kids are going to college. I need money. How'd you get it? I bought it at a charity auction. OK. You mind me asking what you paid for it? Uh, less than what you're going to give me for it. <laughs> All right. And this is the guy that put Dracula on the map. He didn't invent the vampire, though. I, that had, that's been around for years and years and years. The interesting thing about the book is that the original idea came from Vlad the Impaler. Bram Stoker made him a vampire, but the real Vlad the Impaler impaled over 100,000 people on the way into a city. I don't know. That's weird in my book. I don't have any idea. You can imagine just the smell of that. Awful. Bram Stoker pretty much invented the modern day vampire story. The vampire genre is huge these days, and that wouldn't happen if we didn't have Dracula first. It's all original. No torn pages. Yeah. Everything's in good shape. So what do you want to do with this? I'd like to sell it. Any idea on how much you want? Around 15,000. <sighs> Problem is, you don't have a first edition. Those first editions were printed in Europe. If it was a first edition, what you're asking for all day long. And I don't know what his signature's worth. Signed copies of this book go for crazy amounts of money, so it's worth getting checked out. Let me get my buddy Drew down here to check out the signature. OK. And once he does that, then we'll work on some numbers. OK, good. I'm really excited that he's bringing an expert to try to authenticate the book to see if it's real, where I can get my money. Dracula book. I got an American first edition allegedly signed by Bram Stoker. Wow, how about that? The guys usually call me down when they have questions for signatures in books, documents, or any type of memorabilia. Bram Stoker actually wrote over a dozen books, but this is by far his most famous book. I mean, how many movies have been made about this? Yeah, I mean. It was actually not the original book. There was a book apparently written 30, 40 years beforehand, and it never caught on like this book. It's definitely the most famous horror book ever written, no doubt about it. Well, what do you think, Corey? This signature may not be authentic? Uh, you know me, man. If it doesn't have paperwork with it or anything, I call you. Well, let's take a closer look at the signature and see if it's authentic. OK. If their signature's authentic, it's going to be worth a lot of money. Uh, one thing that's interesting is before the turn of the century, he would write his capital B in kind of like an arm type shape. The upper stems get the little switchback type loops here, T bars. Well, let's see. This is uh, this is authentic. There's Good. no doubt in my mind. Good. <laughs> you know, no doubt. It's a autographed copy of Bram Stoker Dracula. One of a kind. I'm really excited. Let's talk numbers now. You know what his signatures are going for? Uh, the condition of the book is not very good. Pages are not missing, but there's a lot of wear. If I had to put a retail on it, really, I would have to say four or $5,000. OK. Absolutely. Appreciate you coming down, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. It's not the 15 that I was hoping for, but uh, make me an offer. I want to say $2,000. <laughs> uh, a little more. How about uh, 3000 Got to pay for college, got cars to buy, and the man just said four or 5000 He did say four or 5000 We're talking about auction and retail prices, though. I'll tell you what, I'll do, uh, do $2,300 for you, and that's the best I can do. Twenty-five. <laughs> 2350, that's my best offer. Deal. Let's go write it up, man. I'm walking out of the store today with $2,350. I'm happy. Glad I came to the pawn shop. <laughs>